Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And down to the seven-yard line. A big run that time by Elliott. 59 yards for him on the ground. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Mike. On third down, it's Pollard. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. It's now fourth and goal at the two-yard line. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll run it with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from two yards out as they are now on the board here in the first half. Showing some grits and some guts going for it there. Fourth and goal, pounding it in. And being rewarded for that confidence in the team, huh? The coach saying, let's go ahead and get this. And how about the guys up front firing out, finding a little bit of a crack for them to get through? Touchdown. I love it. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, it's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And with that, folks, I want to remind you to join the NFL Salute to Service. This season, the NFL and its players are honoring those who proudly serve our country, and fans are encouraged to join NFL players in writing letters to service members and their families. To learn how you can send your letter today, visit NFL.com slash salute. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Bashad Breeland, the one that got him down. On 
second down now. It's Elliott, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He lost two there, and it's third down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On third down, it's Prescott. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, 68 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Well, with that incompletion, I, I want to get your MVP thoughts. Lamar Jackson, he seems to be the leader right now, is he not? I would agree with that. His team is the hottest team in the league right now. And then you've got, well, let's think of the others Dak Prescott, yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah. Who else? Christian McCaffrey? I would say Christian McCaffrey, although it's hard for a running back to win it. Don't forget Michael Thomas with the Saints mm. continued to have big numbers even while Drew Brees was out. But also, if Patrick Mahomes gets hot and the Chiefs run off a string, he's a defending NFL MVP. But think about this. If Lamar Jackson does win the MVP, he'll be the first 22-year-old to do it since Jim Brown. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 59 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Point after, right down the middle. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. On second and a yard. Prescott, and that's caught inside the 35. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. This is Elliott. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards there and a first down. First down, Dallas. The first down carry by Elliott. 
And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On second down, Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott in the final seconds of the first half as his guys are able to regain the lead. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Here's Elliott. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Here we go, 46. Third and short yardage, Prescott looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Prescott to throw on fourth. And this is caught, Amari Cooper. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. If you're gonna blitz, likely gonna leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first down. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. 
And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards will get him back to the original line of scrimmage, but now they're looking at third and 10. And it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. On third down, Elliott. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. We've seen this offense go for it on fourth down already on this drive. I wonder if they'll go for it again. They certainly wouldn't rule it out with these guys. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Maher able to put this one through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, they really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes escaping the pressure right. Mahomes hit, he lost the football. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So after two first downs, they get another here, first and 10 at the 45. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes steps away to his left. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Being chased out left. Well, he's going to go for it all. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Out here, how do they run that effectively? The road with the four-minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. 
but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On second down, it's Pollard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you guys start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. The first down carried by Elliott doesn't amount to much as he'll get forward for about a couple. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They go to Elliott again. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Marr is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. Work on. And I think the ball's out. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week of practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Again, it's Elliott. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. On third down, it's Elliott, and he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes... The other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. The kick by Maher is good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. 
So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And this one will be returned to right around the.